So the next form is called Boyes cord normal form or B C N F. This is the Boyes cord normal form. A relation is in Boyes cord normal form if x y is non trivial f d then x is a super key. So, for every non trivial f d the left side must be a super key there is an alternative definition which is for every f d x to y it is either it is trivial or x is super key. I mean the equivalence is very easy this is essentially just breaking this down uh, to that non trivial thing down. So, what does B C N F tries to do is to B C N F tries to go to a higher form than 3 N F. It tries to say that whenever there is a functional dependency it is non trivial then the left side must be on the, the super key. So, it tries to say that every relation the functional de uh, de dependencies must be only on the keys it cannot be on anything else. So, there so if there is a functional dependency x to y the x must be a super key. So, that is what it tries to do. Now, the process of B C N F normalization may be actually a problem. So, before that let us consider the example that we were looking at earlier. So, the, this was the relation after that L 1 1 that we looked about earlier. So, this is just to recollect this was the dependency with i d determining everything dist lot and area. However, there was another dependency which was saying distance and lot together determines i d and area and there was let us say there is another this was another thing area determines district. So, the question is is this in B C N F the answer is no because of this functional dependency the other two functional dependencies are fine because of this functional dependency area determines district, but area by itself is not a super key. So, this is where this fails. So, this not this relation is not in B C N F. So, if one wants to normalize this in B C N F what one can break this down is that a i d lot area then it can be district to area that is it correct. Now, what are the functional dependencies in this is the first here the functional dependency is i d determines lot area and area determines district. So, very importantly after B C N F normalization this is the process of B C N F normalization one can see something important here is that it can lose functional dependencies. So, there are certain functional dependencies that are lost. So, what are the functional dependencies that is lost? This functional dependency is lost. So, after the B C N F normalization is done it is not always that one can preserve all the functional dependencies. So, this is can be problematic may not can or whatever it may or may not be problematic, but that is the thing. So, functional dependencies may be lost and informally B C N F is can be summarized as everything depends on only the key. So, that is the way of saying. So, why is B C N F normalization important is that if that uh, area to district this actually introduces a problem. So, if one knows the area one knows the district, but uh, area is not a key. So, in it may happen that changing area area is changed due to something else and the district needs to be also changed. So, again the problem comes with those anomalies that one one uh, attribute is touched and other attributes are touched unnecessarily when it is not uh, useful to touch it. So, the other problem with B C N F decomposition is that it may not be always possible. So, not possible in the sense that it may not be always possible to be lossless. So, it, it can lose uh, certain 
sometimes it can lose not just functional dependency the decomposition may not be lossless so for example let us consider a relationship in the following manner a town state and district so um, and which where so the functional dependencies are town and state together determines the district and the district name determines the state. So suppose these are the two functional dependencies. Now of course this is not in BCNF. So to break it down into BCNF the rule says that the problem is with this district to state. So let us break it down into these two relationships state with district and town and state. So let us isolate district and state together in this so, so town and state all right but here is a example where this will fail so town state and district this is an example so iit is a town in up and suppose it's in the district east and so on and so forth iit is a town also in the state west bengal then prayag is in up and wb uh, as well and kanpur and lucknow all those things now if one breaks it down to the state district and town state so if one breaks it down to state district and town state let us see what what does one get so state district if one breaks it down so you get up east west bengal mdp then west bengal dinaj up center up west and town and state if one breaks it down this is and uh, well so this is all the other six is there the point is one can check that this is definition this uh, decomposition is not lossless because if one joins this then you do not get back the original relationship so this is lossy and this cannot be allowed under any circumstance. So this decomposition is wrong. This is not allowed. And one can also say just to argue that maybe the BCNF decomposition rule was wrong that there is no way to break this relationship down into any other way. For example, if one tries to break it down into town state and town district or state district and town district, none of this will actually give back the original form. So there is, this is this problem with BCNF decomposition. So it is not always possible to ensure that a relationship is in BCNF. It may happen, it may be possible, it may not be possible. There is another problem uh, with BCNF, it is the anomaly. There is a particular anomaly uh, that can happen with BCNF. So for example, consider the relationship of a course and teacher and book. So what essentially means is that so to all this thing together is the primary key. So what does it mean is that suppose you consider a course database, it can be taught by many uh, teachers in a particular institute and uh, each teacher can uh, take up many of the books. So a particular uh, invocation of this thing may be in the following manner. So let us say there is the database course, it can be taught by a teacher say A, B and uh, whatever, these are the name of the books and this can be taught by whoever and so on and so forth. So let us just see what happens. So essentially what one means is that the course can be taught by any teacher and the teacher can adopt any book and similarly this can happen with uh, lots of there can be other courses as well which this where this can happen. Now the problem that will happen is that the functional dependency, there are essentially no functional dependency, so this is determined to be in BCNF. So what I mean to say is this relation is in BCNF because there is only one functional dependency and nothing is violated. So this is all seems to be fine. But modification anomalies are still there, so there is a modification anomaly there in this thing. So although this relation is in, seems to be all fine from the point of normal, from point of view of normalization. So it is in 1NF, 2NF, 3NF, it is in 1NF, 2NF, 
3 N F and B C N F all of these things. So, it seems to be all fine. There is still a modification anomaly. Why is there a modification anomaly? One can consider that if there is a new teacher that comes who can teach database. So, suppose introduce the name of a teacher V N who can teach database. Now, there can be two books adopted by it. So, FDB and DBM. So, you require both the tuples to be inserted. So, even though there is only one piece of new information that is inserted into the database, two tuples are added. And similarly, if AB today leaves uh, from this institution and uh, so that there is only one teacher who is deleted, there are two tuples that needs to be deleted and so on and so forth. So, you can see that there is a problem with this relationship per se. So, what it essentially means is that the functional dependencies and the keys can normalize the relation only up to a certain extent. So, it, it can make the design of a database good up to a certain extent. It cannot make it completely uh, bereft of any modification anomaly. So, there can still be modification anomalies even if one covers all the normal forms that is possible with uh, functional dependencies and keys. So, that will be the start of our next topic which is on multi-valued dependencies.